Hey guys, Jonathan here, down at the Northwich Makerspace, and today we're looking at a new addition to the space, which is this amazing bit of kit. This is an X-Tool M1 Pro laser engraver, and it's not just a laser engraver, it's also a cutter too. It's like a two-in-one machine, and it is incredible what it can do. Now, X-Tool were kind enough to send this down to us, and we've put it in the Makerspace because we know that all of our members are going to be able to make use of this. So, let's show you what it's all about. So, one of the first most fascinating features of this, which is very different to a CNC I've worked on in the past, is it's got a 16 megapixel camera in it, which takes an image of whatever you lay in there. So you don't have to square everything up, you don't have to kind of do everything by eye. It takes an image, loads it into the computer, and then it'll use that for you to overlay your designs on there without you having to worry about the exact position. So you can just chuck things in, the camera does all the work, squares it all up for you. So that it makes it a really easy to use machine, really user friendly, and the head automatically focuses itself. So you don't have to, in traditional older machines, you have to manually focus the lens, whereas this takes all of that faff out for you. So this is much simpler to use. So what you've got to do is, when you're ready to use the machine, you launch the X-Tool Creative Space. But before we get into the software, there's a couple of safety points. When you're using this machine, if you open the lid, it will stop working, but you've got to make sure the lid's down, properly down, and we've got like these little mag switches in here, so really you can't run it with it up, but just make sure that lid is always down, and make sure the vent is attached. So this is on like a quick release clip. It shouldn't be disconnected, but if it is, you've got to reconnect it, because whatever you're cutting can generate quite a lot of smoke, and with this attached, it'll all go outside, which is great. Now this machine might move from this room, it might go into the fab lab. So wherever it is, the same applies. Make sure the lid's down, make sure the extraction hose is attached. And while we're talking about safety stuff, make sure you subscribe. That's the safest thing to do as well. Subscribe to this channel, because all of the videos we put out are gonna be featuring machines in the space, things that happen in the space, and it's a lot safer for you to know what's going on down here. So subscribe, click the bell icon so you don't miss any of the future videos, and let's get back to it. Right, so once the software's loaded up and it's done the firmware update, it's dead user friendly and it automatically loads an image of inside the machine. So we've got one of the slate coasters here. We'll pop that inside and it's gonna bring up an image of it and we can add a Northwich Makerspace logo from the website. So we're just gonna pull that into the software and we'll adjust the size so it fits on that coaster just nice. And then we'll go to this bar on the right. So we'll set the laser to laser flat. We'll set the material to slate coasters. Yeah, and we'll set it to auto measure because it's just under the red dot. So you always want to try and keep the item you're engraving underneath the red dot for the best results. Right, so that's all the settings. So we click engrave. And in 15 minutes, we should have our results. And there we have it. That is, I can see already, that is spot on. I mean, that is such a good engraving on slate as well. You can easily see that that's something you could sell. I know you can do images on this too. So what we've done here is just basically black and white. It's engraved it in one tone, but you can do like a photo image and then it'll engrave at different powers and it'll give you shading. So you can actually put a photograph of a loved one or a photograph of anything, your dog, on there and uh, that would look amazing. But for this, you can see it's got really fine detail. So on this USB, there's some little squares and some of the, the this is quite a fine lettering. So that's how you engrave slate. Let's try some other stuff. Right, so the next thing we're gonna look at is probably my favorite feature, which is called the Smart Fill. And the best way to illustrate what that is, is using these dog tags. So these came in the little materials pack and they're exactly, well, they're the little wooden dog tags. Lovely little sweet things can be used as a key ring. We've got loads of them. So we'll chuck a bunch of them in here. And as long as one of them is under that red dot in the middle, it doesn't matter where the other ones are. They just have to be inside the box. And that is perfect. So we've got a bunch of them in there. Now they're gonna come up on the screen. And obviously this is a different material to the slate. So we have to change the settings. So we change it to three mil base wood. And then the thickness is 2.2 mil. There you go, I can see already it's brought them all up. So we've put the logo on the middle one, the one under the red dot. And then if I click Smart Fill here, which is the big difference, it automatically puts that same logo on all of them. And there we have it. It should take, shouldn't take too long and we'll have all of them done exactly the same, even though they're all random. Right, so it's all finished. And the one in the middle, 
is as you'd expect. That's the uh, the one that we set up first. So you'd expect that one to be good, but then look at this one. This one is on a totally different angle and it's the same. And we've got all the little detail in of the makerspace lettering. Third one, exactly the same. Fourth one, all of these were just randomly in there on different angles. And they are all matching little earrings, which is perfect. So that's the smart fill feature. Let's show you something else. Right, so that's how you use the laser. And I think we've got some really great results with that. So next up, we'll show you how to use the blade. Pretty amazing, really, how versatile this machine is, because we do have a vinyl plotter here in the space, which can do signs and stickers. But obviously, you might just have this in your home. So the fact that it can do vinyl it can make you custom stickers is pretty amazing. So I'll show you how you do that. We've had a play around already, and we made a little sticker to go on the front here. So let me show you how I did that. So first things first, we've got a little bit of the material. We've got loads of sticker vinyl here. You can just get a little piece. Okay, so this is the mat you need to use. It comes with the machine and it's for when you're doing blade cutting. And you basically take off this top surface here, which makes it a bit of a tactile sticky surface. And then we put our material on it. And it, you can see there already, it just sticks it down. And we put that in the machine. And it's very similar. Once it's that bit of material is under that red dot, it comes up on the screen exactly like everything else. The only difference is now we change it on the right hand bar. We're changing it from laser flat over to blade cut. So it's self adhesive vinyl. So I'll select that. Uh, and there we go. We can click start. And it's going to take two and a half minutes. And we should have a sticker. Right, so that's it all done. So we'll just get it out. And now we can peel the sticker off the backing with a scalpel. There we go. And then we can stick it on the machine, just like that. So not only can it do the wooden dog tags, it can also do metal ones. And one of these came in a little kit and it's the exact same method. The only thing to be aware of when you put it on the bed is it shows up a little bit darker. So you do have to kind of squint, make sure you can see it. But same principle, you put it under the red dot and you just change it over to uh, dog tag engrave, which is one of the settings. And then this is for cameraman Matt and his dog's called Ty. So we can put TY, just in just standard font, click engrave, and this is what we ended up with. So insert picture of it on the dog. Another really amazing feature of this, I don't think we're gonna get a chance to do it because I don't have any cylindrical objects, but you can engrave onto mugs and flasks and other items like that because we have a cylindrical, there's a cylindrical jig that comes with the machine and essentially you remove the plate, you install this and connect it into the back and then you place your cylindrical object in there with the red dot on it and you can basically upload your image and what it'll do is rather than engraving, obviously if it was a fixed cylinder, it would be perfect on the top and then it'd all go haywire down the sides. But with that little jig there, it can um, make sure that the, the lettering in the design is nice and square all the way around the object, which is pretty amazing, isn't it, really? Uh, and it does all that automatically because there's a setting in here called laser cylindrical. So you just select that, and then you can select whatever material it is. You know, even if you can get like a bamboo bottle or something, it can do that, but it can obviously do flask, metal flask, it can do a painted flask, it could do a mug, and then you just set it up and click start with your design, and it's automatically gonna do that for you. So I don't have any samples to try that, but if you'd like to see us do that, let us know in the comments and I'm sure we can get a few samples together and then have a go at engraving some different items and that'd be quite fun, some cylindrical items. As a bit of a wrap up on this machine, it can do a lot more than I'm telling you here. If you go online and you search Xtool M1, people are using this machine because it's so versatile for all sorts of materials and projects. It's pretty much, there's no limit to what you can engrave with this. The only thing you have to be aware of is obviously different materials when lasered give off different fumes. So you have to make sure it's well ventilated and also whatever material you're using, you want to double check what fumes are going to be coming off it because you know most things or the things that we've done today certainly there's no danger the fumes aren't going to be dangerous at all. They might smell but that's why you need the ventilation but certain materials can really give off noxious fumes which are dangerous. So you have to be super careful with what you're lasering and also make sure you're following the instructions because you don't want to damage the machine. We've got different types of beds here. Underneath here, we've got the honeycomb bed. So if you're cutting through items, you want to be using the, the honeycomb bed so you don't damage the flat plate that's in there. So essentially, if you use this as intended, it'll last you a long, long time and it's a fantastic machine. So there we go. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. We're looking forward to using this in a few projects. So I'd love to hear what projects you'd like to see us use it for. 
And if you're interested in using it yourself, head over to northwichmakerspace.co.uk and you can check out the membership options we have and maybe you can come down to the space and give it a blast. See what you can make, see what you can create on it. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.